Hey, what is going on guys? It is finally time here to start work on the Master Grade GP02. Now, in all honesty, this series of videos, uh, work in progress on this, is not gonna be that different from just any other work in progress series, but the whole point is that we've got a theme of Trash to Treasure, so this is the second time around going through a Trash to Treasure series build. And honestly, this kit, also not that trash, to be honest, is not that bad. Uh, it's an older Master Grade for sure, and it's got some problems, and we're gonna fix that. But uh, really, the whole point of this series is not necessarily taking this kit and making it better as it is, but I also just want to reimagine the design as well too, so it'll be making the kit better, but also giving it a new sort of reimagined design as well too, so there's gonna be some changes we're gonna make to it, we're gonna go through all of that, of course, throughout the work in progress series, so let's just get to work. There's a lot to work on with this guy. So basically for this first episode, I just want to go through talking to you guys about what are some of my plans for the kit, and then we'll maybe get into some of the major modifications that I'm going to start off with. But first, just want to go through, let you guys know uh, kind of what my plans are for this, and that's all subject to change as well too, of course, because you never know how things might be turning out, or you might have new ideas and things like that. But it is always important, I, I think, when you start off a project to have some sort of idea in mind of what you want to do, and so I've been trying to work that out. And I think I have a pretty good idea. I was thinking, you know, do I want to make it thinner, maybe like, take these legs and feet and make them smaller, kind of more average Gundam size and make it kind of a more thinner design? Or do I want to kind of take its bulk and like bulk it out even more, make it like super duper bulky or something? So I've been kind of going back and forth a little bit as to exactly the direction that I want to take this. But I've kind of decided to not necessarily make it too much more thinner or bulky, but just sort of rearranging the parts in a way that it will still be kind of generally the same uh, in terms of its uh, general size, but it'll be just kind of moved around in different areas. So first of all, the shield, we're not gonna use that at all, but I am gonna use part of this, just not as a shield. So basically I wanted to get rid of this section here at the top and then basically cut it out along this line here. And then this section we'll have here and then this bottom section, so we'll have two of those sections. And I wanna turn these into our new side skirts. So it's gonna have these big massive side skirt bits which will be these big massive cooling units which is basically what these serve as here on the shield but I want to put them actually on the body so those will be these big massive side skirts here so I will also need to make some extensions as much as I can and this will also be I think once we get that on there and kind of see how that's fitting make some extensions to the front and back skirts as well too the back skirts are especially tiny on this kit so we'll probably try to bulk those out or at least make them a little bit longer a little bit larger and the other major change is going to be reassigning these big massive uh, shoulder engine parts it's always seemed a bit uh, odd to me having this, these like, attached onto the side of the shoulder there like that it just seems like a huge weight burden on the arm into the body there so it also always seemed a little bit unrealistic I mean obviously if it's operating in space it's less of an issue but uh, I just wanted to do something a little bit different with these so I'm gonna break these up actually into the two separate sections this section, I want to fit this into the back of the leg. So in this section here, we'll have to cut and reshape some of this stuff in there to, for that to be able to fit in there, but I wanna put this up inside the back of the leg there. And then these, I want to turn into just backpack parts, basically. So I'll probably be using some Kodobuki parts uh, for, for making the mechanical arms for these, but these will be attached up on the backpack like that. So they'll still be sort of like over the shoulder a little bit, but just more to the back, not actually attached onto the shoulder. So we'll have to make some modifications to the arms, basically just to get rid of this little bit there where that was. And the arms in general, for the otherwise, are not really gonna be modified all that much, I'm thinking. I will have to make some changes to the upper arm here because as is, it's one of the weakest points of this kit. When you move the arm a little bit, it just comes apart like that. So I'll have to uh, work on that a little bit. May also end up making that maybe a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit fatter as well too, that uh, bicep section, I'm not entirely sure, but that'll undergo just some minor changes. The torso as well probably will undergo some minor changes. I uh, may extend the torso up a little bit uh, to make the middle section there a little bit longer. Uh, so this will be up a little bit higher. So for example, this is how it is now, but if I just kind of pull this up off the poly cap ball joint there a little bit, you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. It could be, for example, about here, something like that. So it'd be a little bit uh, just kind of longer in this torso section as well too. And the thighs as well, I'm not entirely sure yet, may end up making these a little bit larger and possibly a little bit longer as well too, but I I'm not sure. I need to get the side skirts on there first and see how those are looking. And then we'll decide about the thighs. The head also not really gonna change a whole lot. I'm thinking about changing the face though. I'm sure in my spare parts bin, I've probably got some extra face parts left over for some other different master grade. I may end up giving it more of just kind of a standard Gundam face. I do like like the GPO2's face design in general. Uh, that said, for this master grade, it's a little bit kind of 
and odd looking, especially like the position of the eyes. I've got the sticker still on there now at the moment, but I think it might be kind of cool to just swap it out for just like a kind of standard looking Gundam face inside there in the head. So I do want to try that. And again, I'll just try it and see how it looks and then we'll see uh, if that's what I do. eventually want to end up sticking with or not. But uh, just going down here to the feet, the kit is not able to get a very wide stance because these parts on the inside of the layer kind of blocking the foot from bending more. The actual ankle joint, the ball joint, can bend a little bit more to the side uh, for getting a wider flat stance, but it's popping this uh, kind of side armor of the leg, it's popping that off. So we'll need to modify that in a way so that it can actually bend out a little bit more so it'll be out of the way of the foot for getting a nice wide stance for this ultimately. And that for now I think is kind of basically the extent of the kind of main changes that I want to make to this. Other than that there'll be some other small aesthetic things here and there but those are kind of the main uh, changes that I'm going to be making. I do still plan on using the bazooka and not really going to be a whole lot changed with that either. I might again just add some small parts or add some small changes here and there on that but ultimately that's going to be pretty much uh, as it is. I don't know, it might be kind of cool to maybe add up on the other shoulder, uh, maybe a ray disc radome. I mean, it doesn't, I don't know if that necessarily really makes sense with a nuke missile and a radome. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Maybe having just a, a disc radome here on this shoulder, I think could be kind of cool. Later iterations, I think it's the GP, oh, 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 oh. The Blossom very notably has a big radome on it. So I mean, it's not too out of uh, the ordinary for a GP series design to have a disc radium. So, I mean, that could be something that I'll look into as well too. Definitely gonna change out the hands, no doubt about that. Oh, uh, those will be gone. I'll get some better hands for this, but uh, you guys know I love to saw some stuff. So why don't we just get out the saw and get to sawing up the shield and get to hacking this up first of all. So now that we've got that in pieces, Obviously gonna take some more cleanup, obviously uh, before we get to actually being able to put this on the kit, it'll be a lot more modification needed out to fill in these spaces here, probably just with some plot plate or something. And the same thing down here, maybe just some sheets of plot plate over that. Uh, and this is going to fit then onto the side skirt, something like that. So it's very rough at the moment, but you can just get uh, somewhat of an idea of kind of how that's gonna look. It's gonna be fitting a bit closer because we won't have this uh, beam saber on there and this whole kind of side skirt will just be a little bit different, I think. Like for example, take that off and this will be fitting closer onto there anyway. And yeah, I think definitely making those front skirts a little bit longer and maybe a little bit wider just to kind of fit this space a little bit better will definitely be something uh, that we'll work on as well too. But in general, I think, you know, it's gonna work. It's gonna be unique, but I'm trusting in the process. I'm thinking now, you know, it looks a bit odd. Yes, I'll give you that. But, you know, I'm just trusting that I think it'll be cool when it all comes together a little bit more as it is. Still very rough, obviously. All right, so after taking a few moments to just kind of uh, step back and look at this and just kind of look at it closely, how it's fitting on there and think some more about it, I've got it figured out. So these are going to be, just kind of in my imagination of this suit, a just sort of uh, additional equipment, sort of like cooling equipment so that it can fire the bazooka. And instead of it being a nuke bazooka, I wanna change this to, in my canon of this mobile suit anyway, just a massive beam bazooka. So what I'm thinking is that basically like uh, the story of this is that it's got this big massive beam cannon or beam bazooka, uh, but in order to fire it, you know, it's just the mobile suit on its own. It's just kind of doesn't really, it's not really outed, outfitted properly for that. So it's got to have this massive, these massive cooling units on there. Uh, just to be able to use that properly. So rather than turning these into the side skirts, basically omitting these side skirts and replacing them with these parts in some way, I think what I wanna do is just basically make these so that they just look like they're just attached onto the side skirt here. So I do want to leave that side skirt in there and then just have these attached onto the side of there like that. So that basically they look like parts that can be then jettisoned, uh, you know, later if, uh, after it's done its duty uh, with the big gun, then it can go in and do some more close combat or something like that. The cool thing about this then too is with this door for that uh, ammunition, the nuke to fit in there, uh, what I can do is just get rid of that door and then just basically use this as like a place for feeding in some hoses, like cables and stuff. So with the bazooka up there on the shoulder and then I can like uh, make some hoses and uh, pipes and stuff or uh, just tubes coming out from like the bazooka, a couple of them like going into the backpack and then from going out of the backpack, have those plugged into these uh, cooling units here. Have some wires like kind of going into them as well too. And I think that could look 
pretty cool. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with that. I think that'll be the direction we go. So like I said, this is kind of the kind of thing that I didn't necessarily really have figured out going into this. And I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go and I think that'll work out pretty well. The other nice thing about that is then actually attaching these onto here should be pretty simple. Basically, I just have to make some sort of peg here for this to plug onto, nothing really too fancy. I could even use some magnets, I think, could actually work quite well as well too, but probably just a simple peg will be all that I need. Now, these parts are kind of in the way, so we'll have to cut these off of here. It's all kind of like part of the back skirt. You kind of have to take off this entire section here. So these parts that kind of wrap around the side, uh, just I've, I'm fine with just getting rid of those, so I'm just gonna just cut those off right away. So just doing that very roughly at the moment, but just to, again, just for mock-up purposes. And I do still think that I will want to make some extensions and make the front and back skirts a little bit larger. Larger, uh, and longer too I will still do that but as far as getting these mounted onto the side of there I think that should be pretty simple enough so basically for now I'm just gonna be working on just plot plate on these to just kind of fill out the shapes of these so you know because I need to fill that gap and then uh, filling the, the part on the top on the inside there as well too just getting some plot plate pieces in there just to fill that out so basically just a matter of just you know gluing pieces on there shaving them down filing them down gluing other pieces on there until you get the shape all blocked out and then you know once this is this, this section is all together we got kind of the general shape all sorted out uh, they'll move on to further parts of the build but so uh, for now i'll just work on this and then in the next video i'll show you guys how uh, these are looking and then we'll move on to some other parts so that's it for part one guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned for part two coming a little bit later till then hope you're all having a great day see you guys later bye